Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies and gentlemen, and everyone watching, this is Running On Empty Food Review, and I am your host, the Report of the Week. So, well, well thank you for uh, checking in, thank you for uh, hey, sticking, sticking here with, uh, with me through all these crazy times. Uh, and crazy times they are. Of course, it is a developing situation, you don't really know... Uh, what's going to happen? You don't you don't have a crystal ball, um, but of course it is a serious situation, and as a result, I think you're seeing a lot of changes being made to daily life. Uh, of course, one thing that I'm a huge advocate of is social distancing. Uh, you know, just staying a bit more isolated through all of this. I mean, that's something that I've already been doing for the last number of years. But anyway, I am inside. I am back in the climate-controlled dome this time around, and. Uh, I know, you know, a lot of these places that I review, a lot of these uh, major fast food chains, they have been making adjustments, right? They've been making changes, and um, some of them are closing down the dining rooms, some of them are just maybe even closing down outright. And uh, with more changes uh, I would see uh, happening soon, you just don't know what the future holds. I'm still going to be getting some items delivered, I'm still going to be trying out, you know, the, the delivery for certain places or whatever. If a new item comes out, and uh, everything looks good, you know, I'll give it a shot, we'll see what happens. And otherwise, a lot of people are interested in frozen food. They're interested in, like, frozen food items, um, storable stuff, etc. So I figured, okay, I've been doing the frozen pizza reviews for ages. I mean, you can go back in the, back in the day. I was trying to just say that in a really weird voice, and that absolutely fell through. Uh, very, very poorly, but either way pretending that never happened. Uh, back in the day, back in 2014, I would, I mean, I would do these uh, frozen pizza reviews all the time. I mean, I would try them out so often. And uh, why not? Let's go back to the roots and uh, let's try out an item. This admittedly is a product that I've been, uh, that I've been, I mean, eating a lot lately. So already, I mean, I just, I don't want to try and say I have never had this yet somehow the box is empty and one of these things is missing already and why is there a bite mark out of the pizza? You know, what's what's going on, review bra? Uh, you know, too much hand sanitizer? What, what have you been up to? But, no. Uh, I have had these before, and I really like them, and I just want to say kind of why I do. It's a Red Baron item. Uh, I think it's probably still available at most grocery stores. I mean, even with supplies as they are. Uh, you know, the supply lines aren't down. That's another thing that people need to remember. Things are still getting restocked. And, uh, yes, everyone will be able to get their blessed... Uh, toilet paper as well, soon enough. Uh, it is getting restocked. This is Red Baron's Deep Dish Singled Pizza. It's a personal deep dish pizza, and uh, the box is not lying to you. There are two right here. Uh, so you can see kind of this one is slightly eclipsing the other one there, but there are two. Comes with pepperoni on it, and um, yeah, two pizzas. Uh, one of these would really suffice as a snack, or you know, maybe a small meal, uh, whereas if you're feeling a bit more peckish, right, the both of them would um, work out as a satisfactory meal. But anyway, I discovered this. I was going through the frozen food section. I just wanted to get some frozen pizzas. I saw these, and I wasn't really sure if it was going to be good or not. But uh, I, I tried them out, and I just kept getting them because they're really good. I mean, I really like them. I think this is something that's... Um, I think a lot of people look over it, but uh, I've been a big fan of it. So, uh, yeah, Red Baron's Deep Dish Singles Pepperoni Pizza. There you have it. All right, now what I did for the sake of the video, I always enjoy going out and preparing these and uh, making a little bit of a separate uh, segment for that. So with that, follow me over to the oven and uh, take a look while I make this. So here's a uh, good view of the Red Baron deep dish singles pepperoni pizza. Two of them in this little box, and it is a, you know, well, small enough, anyway. But uh, Red Baron, there he is with his uh, mustache of glory right there. Got two of them. Uh, here's what it is, nutritional facts. Uh, there it is for you to see here. 430 calories uh, per pizza, though. And uh, the instructions to make them are uh, pretty simple. You could uh, do it in the conventional oven, which is recommended, or in a microwave. Uh, in my opinion, for superior taste, I would recommend the uh, conventional oven. And uh, it's as easy as this. 200, um, 375 degrees. Uh, so that's what you preheat the oven to. Um, put it in the uh, oven rack in the uh, center position. You uh, remove this from its little plastic wrap. Now it's in focus. Take it out from there. 
<laughs> and now we focus back in there. And you cook it. Every oven is different, but uh, 22 to 24 minutes. Uh, my oven usually cooks it best for uh, around 22 minutes, I would say. So, uh, with that, there's the uh, there's the pizza. You know, you can see it's contained in its little wrapping. The oven is all preheated, and um, you do want to take the plastic off of it. I know some people have said that the plastic is like a flavor enhancement, and you know, some people actually call that disc the uh, disc of flavor, um, but those are lies. Ignore that. You remove it from the plastic wrapping, you take that disc away, and then you just, you know, you, you, you slide it in there. You just, you know, you can shove it a little bit, but it's recommended that you kind of just gently, you know? So I'm going to take it out of its plastic, and uh, then I'll uh, reconvene, and you'll see the grand oven entrance. Take it out like this, and uh, just put it in. And there you have it. The Red Baron Personal Pan Pizza. I say it's cooked pretty good anyway. You know, I always like it with a little bit of a bake, but still good. You know, a little crispy right on the outer edges. Um, but you can still see, still fresh, right there in the center. Calm mealtime chaos with pizza the whole family loves. That's what it says right there. Yeah, deep dish. So it's going to be a little, a little on the thicker side, but it's a, uh, yeah, a personal pizza that, again, I've just been a big fan of. So two of these in the box. Again, yeah, two, two for one. And the uh, price for this is, uh, it's pretty affordable. I've seen this go anywhere, I mean, here's the thing with supermarkets, sometimes you get the different price based on the, what, whoever's selling them. Um, so I've seen these go any, anywhere from, uh, I mean, even as cheap as like three, four bucks to, uh, you know, seven or, or eight dollars. But it's pretty affordable for what it is. Again, it could be one meal, uh, or you can kind of have, you know, one as a snack, one later, one, one day, one another, and um, so on. Yeah, I've been a big fan of them. Red Baron's pizza, and uh, well, let's try it out. So here it is. I always like mine a little well done. That's the other thing. Every oven is different, number one. And then number two, you know, you like it a certain way. Some people, they like it raw. Uh, other people, they like it a little more well done. I, I just, I don't know. I like this when there's a little bit of bake on the pizza. So, you can see, yeah. <laughs> let's try and... Do this safely for the safety of the pizza. I'll kind of, I'll, I'll usher it to the camera like it's some sort of sacrificial offering for you. There you have it. Oh uh, yeah, close up, but yeah, pepperoni pizza. So I always cut it into the little quarters here. And uh, there you go, that's what it looks like. Again, you can see it's a little on the, the thicker side, but I don't know, I've just been a fan of it. So with that, let's just try it out, and uh, we'll see what it tastes like. Red Baron's Deep Dish Singles Pepperoni Pizza going in. Going forward, I'll be trying out a couple more. Items like this might do a little um, live stream here and there, and uh, yeah, I mean, again, it's it's interesting. It's it's unique times. That's the better word for it. It's it's unlike anything that I've ever seen before. That's the best way to put it. But we're gonna get through this. I think that really goes for everyone. But uh, no, we'll get through this. I'll be here. I'll be trying out different things uh, all the way through, and I might do some more live streams too to keep everyone company. I know a lot of you guys are home right now. Um, might be under lockdown, might be under quarantine, but, uh, yeah, I'll be here. I'll try to do a couple more live streams, again, in, in the near future, uh, depending on how I'm feeling and, and so on. But, uh, no, we'll get through this. We will. This is going to be, uh, unique, uh, unique times for a while, but we'll get through it. I can kind of see. I was hoping it would, it would focus in a little bit better, but there you go. Right there. It's 
So I've always been a big fan of this one. What I like about it so much, and of course, when you're looking at frozen pizza, it's very difficult to try to compare it to the actual thing. It's difficult to say, um, you know, this is just as good as what the one um, pizza maestro who lives down the street uh, cooks up every Friday night or something, right? It's, it's going to be different. So understanding that, of course, I just like that little bit of a balance where it's just a little thicker. It's not like it's chewy. It's not like it's completely doughy or soggy, right? You bite in and while it's thicker and it does have just more volume to it, it just doesn't have like that sogginess to it, right? Uh, it, it, it's a little bit more firm and uh, number one, just texturally wise, I like it how you still have that bake on the bottom and you still have that bake on the crust yet it's still soft uh, in the middle there. So I like that, number one. I like the sauce, too. That's the thing that I've always been a fan of uh, for Red Baron. I have always been a fan of their pizza sauce. I I've just enjoyed it. I mean, there's this, this certain... this certain robust flavor to it uh, that, I don't know, it's just, it's, it's just a flavorful pizza sauce. I've always liked that. The cheese is okay, and the pepperoni has just this little bit of saltiness that I think contributes to it very well. Um, but for just a little frozen snack, you know, something that you can prepare up uh, relatively effortlessly. And uh, I think it just tastes good for what it is. Uh, again, you know, especially if you're just at home, you don't really want to go out. You know, everyone, of course, feels different about delivering things or, uh, you know, everything's different for everyone. But uh, it's just a good little snack, I think, that you could prepare at home. One thing that I also like about the frozen pizzas, and I've always liked this, you can customize it. You can do anything that you want with it. And uh, what I always like to do is I like to get some of this garlic seasoning, crack it open, and uh, just put a bit on. You know, just a little bit, you know, but I think the garlic seasoning just goes very well with it. And I would take a little bite. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, I think adding a little bit of garlic salt to it just kind of brings it up to the next level, you know? It just gives it that extra little boost of flavor on top of what it already got. What it already has, I should say. So, uh, yeah, I'm just a big fan of it. Uh, I like the flavors, I like the way it tastes. And uh, again, just for like a very easy, inexpensive, and uh, yeah, quick to prepare snack, I think it's pretty good for what it is. So, uh, yeah, out of 10, there you can see the plate with the semi-devoured pizza on it for evidence. So out of 10, what would I rate I have to keep looking back at it, I'm sorry. The uh, Red Baron Deep Dish Singles Pepperoni Pizza. Out of 10, I'm a fan of it. I would give it an 8.0 out of 10. Again, you have to remember it's not um, restaurant quality. It's not, you know, pizza god quality or anything like that. But it's good for what it is. So uh, that's all that I have for you. And uh, yeah, just something that it's an option you could consider uh, if, if you just want to stay in a bed, eat some frozen food, whatever. It's good, and it's something that I just overlooked in the, the grocery store for a while. Finally saw it, finally said, all right, yeah, I'll give it a shot, see how it tastes. And I was very impressed with it, and uh, yeah, I have one of these um, at least every couple days. It's just a good snack. I'm, I'm a fan of it. With that, that's all that I have for you, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, please stay safe, please be hygienic, practice the social distancing, and uh, we're all going to get through this. We all will. Stay strong and uh, take care. I'll be back again in a couple days with another video. Take care, I'm your host, the Report of the Week.